peeping raccoon. Yeah. That was uh, a, a very nice one. As, as soon as I heard it, uh, I got this is pretty hypnotic vibe. So I started hearing this kind of repeating uh, guitar ostinato thing that uh, was where I started, just like a grinding away at this uh, hypnotic, repetitive guitar riff, and then I did uh, variations on it as it went. Um, but that was real neat, and then and then that kind of put me in mind of of who's next uh, by the Who, uh, and those uh, kind of meditative hypnotic synthesizer recordings that Pete Townsend was doing at the time. So I I grabbed this thing and uh, put it in my lap and and started doing some uh, monophonic synth stuff that was kind of inspired by that. And then I was having such a good time playing this goofy little thing that I, I called up a an electric piano patch and did some like stabbing short chords and that again for the most part when I do these things I'm not listening to previous things so I have no idea exactly how things might work together but it's uh, you know I'm just going by instinct and Scott will find out later how it all goes together if it does <laughs> into guitar wanted to do some real moody atmospheric stuff so there was this fractal patch called serenity now that uh, had a lot of ambience but it also it kind of like electric ladyland vibe where it, it grabs the note and as it decays it bends the pitch down so you get some real trippy stuff that way and i did uh just some atmospheric chords using that <laughs> away for a while so I did a couple of takes of, uh, of lead guitar having some tech issues it was really hot here and some of my gear went down because of the heat and I, I needed to just uh, sit around and wait for it to start working again and once it did I was in the mood to play some clavinet so I uh, put a wah patch clavinet thing and uh, I didn't play real funky clavinet stuff with the wah it was more like hitting notes and letting it just go wow <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.